Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for a radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all can be with us. Also, tuning in through our friends at iHeartRadio on Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. This is part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD, and today we're talking about the importance of CPR. We know that there's been a lot of things in the news when it comes to individuals suffering from cardiac arrest, but did you know that one in 300 youth have an undetected heart condition that puts them at risk for cardiac arrest. Because of this, the American Heart Association is helping to share some valuable information, not only about CPR, but also an access to AEDs act that is something that definitely can be impactful to be able to save lives. Here to talk to us more about it, we're excited to welcome Dr. Anethi Uzindu. He's going to talk to us not only about CPR and why it's important to know it, but also about the act and what it can do to benefit all of us. Dr. Uzindu, thank you again for the time. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So I, I think it probably is an obvious thing, but as we kind of think about all that is been, is happening in the world right now, of course, cardiac arrest is one of the things we hear a lot about. Why is it important to know CPR? Yeah, simply put, CPR saves lives. So uh, a cardiac arrest uh, occurs when, or what a cardiac arrest is, is a uh, sudden cessation of a uh, heart function, so the heart stops beating. Um, and what CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, does is that actually you act as that person's heartbeat and you manually kind of press on the chest to eject blood out to the rest of the body and that blood can then circulate to the brain and all the uh, organs that need oxygen need blood to survive. And so when a cardiac arrest occurs, um, that heart stops beating and all of that stops happening. Um, and we know that if you don't perform CPR right away, uh, survival is very, very low. Um, most people that have a cardiac arrest, uh, less than 10% of them actually survive. And so it's so important to wow. perform CPR, become that person's heartbeat, circulate blood uh, to all their vital organs. And then if a defibrillator or automated external defibrillator AED, if that is available as well, um, then using that to kind of jumpstart that person's heart, kind of potentially shock that heart back into rhythm. Uh, is important to, again, help save lives. You just brought up something uh, that's important for our audience, and that is about AEDs. So uh, I mentioned the Access to AEDs Act. Uh, what exactly is that, and how can it help in the saving of lives? Yeah, the Access to AEDs Act ensures that our schools are safe. And what it does is it's a bill um, that's actually going through Congress right now, um, but it would provide grant funding. It would create grant programs that would provide funding for CPR education in our schools to our students. Um, it would provide uh, some funding for uh, schools to purchase AEDs and maintain them. Uh, and then also it would uh, allow schools to create uh, cardiac arrest emergency response plans so that in the event that a student, a staff member suffers a cardiac arrest, uh, the school is able and equipped to be able to help save a life. I wanted to ask you, how can we help in increasing access to emergency equipment, especially when it comes to schools? Yeah, so we have a number uh, to text. The number is 46839. Uh, the number is 46839. And if you text AED to that number, four, to 46839, uh, you'll be joining the AHA in supporting this uh, life-saving legislation as it goes through Congress. What's important for our audience, again, that number is 46839. We'll make sure that we put that on our Facebook page and then, of course, the text AED to that number to be able to get information. I think, you know, Dr. Izindu, I want to say I really appreciate you taking out this time to be able to share this with our audience. I know this is something that's near and dear and personal for you, and I know it for so many of our audience members. Where can they go for more information? Um, so they can go to uh, heart.org, which is the American Heart Association's website. Um, they can follow links there to actually learn about hands-only CPR so that they themselves can be equipped uh, to perform CPR if necessary. Um, and then texting uh, AED to that number, 46839, will, again, um, help this legislation get passed so that our schools are safe as well. So I think it's important for every family to learn CPR, every member of the family to learn CPR, and then for this legislation to pass so that our schools are safe and our students are learning, our students and our kids are learning CPR as well. Important information. Again, thank you again for the great work you're doing and for spending some time with us and looking forward to speaking with you again. Thanks for having me.
Appreciate it. Glad to do it. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live, part of our News Week and News segment here at WYAD. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live, and let's go make today amazing. Take care.